Good afternoon, YouTube. What's going on? To Friendly Neighborhood Mesa Fail, back at it with some Destiny. Make sure you hit that subscribe button if you're not a subscriber. We're going to go over all new perks that are coming to Rise of Iron. Big shout out to The Legend Blue on Twitter. I'm going to link him in the description. Go, uh, go give him a follow. He's a pretty prominent figure within the uh, Destiny community. He posted on Twitter a link to a Reddit thread. I'm going to link that Reddit thread in the description as well. There's going to be a lot of links in the description. Uh, by a Redditor named 2 nom 3 it I, I can never pronounce it. All these redditor names but he compiled all of these new perks that are from the armory so the armory updated i didn't see any new exotics in there just yet but let's go through all of these new perks some of them you might be familiar with because like the kovastov has a few of these but anyway without further ado let's get into it now you might want to pull up that image that's linked in the description just in case i'm going to be just burning through this and giving you my opinion where applicable so we're going to start on the left hand side and some of these are from the kovastov the new exotic uh while well, they're bringing the kovastov back to year three so we see 450 rounds per minute and 900 rounds per minute and automatic. So that's one of the options on the Kvostov. Then we have Be the Danger. This weapon fires bursts of bullets with deadly accuracy. That's from the new exotic sidearm, the Trespasser, which I have. And you can check out a review of it on my channel. Link in the description. Then we have Bomb Disposal Shield. Take half the damage when carrying the SIVA charge. Not 100% sure what they mean by SIVA charge. Maybe that's something in the raid? I don't know. Then we have Burst Fire, that's also from the Kvostov. Then we have Chasm Rounds. This weapon fires faster and more accurately the longer the trigger is held. Isn't that the same as Persistence? I don't know. Then we have Dubious Munitions. Kills from the Volley add another round to the Volley. Then we have Dubious Ordinance. This weapon will deliver a high energy volley of Explosive Ordinance. Now I'm probably butchering this. Uh, Elixni Immunity, <laughs> okay, on ore pickup, take less damage from Fallen for a short time. Extinction Cycle, on trigger pull, this weapon's initial burst has a higher rate of fire. Feeling blue, everything you see has a blue tint. That's going to be one of the new lenses, lens artifacts you could purchase from Eververse. Next one is from the uh, memory of Felwinter, Felwinter's Covenant. Losing your super, but gain one extra grenade and melee charge and small boost to all stats. Orbs grant melee and grenade energy. I know I'm going to be using this on my Voidwalker for PvP. <laughs> it's, I tried it when I was at Bungie last week. It was a lot of fun. Now check this one out. Focused Firefly. When Focused Fire is active, precision kills cause the target to explode. That's going to be a really cool one. We have Gellion's Wit, which is from the memory of Gellion. Uh, grants a detailed radar. Raider persists when sighting with primary weapons. I used that at Bungie last week also. Definitely going to use that in PvP. Next up, we have Grayscale. Everything you see is in shades of gray. That's one of the new artifact lenses. Check out my tour of Fell Winter Peak, and it's in there. Howling Flames, used to unleash a fiery solar eruption that weakens enemies and deals damage over time. Then we have In Your Element, gain a speed boost when carrying a Scorch, Null, or Shock Cannon. Now, when I went to Bungie last week, I played with the Scorch Cannons again, but I didn't, what is a Null or Shock Cannon? Not 100% sure. All right, then we're going to have incendiary rounds. And actually, in the description, it says the same thing as it did for the chasm rounds. This weapon fires faster and more accurately the longer the trigger is held. So I'm assuming incendiary rounds are going to set our enemies on fire. Not sure what the chasm rounds are going to do. I don't know. Let me know in the comment section what you guys think it's going to be. Okay, then we got some scopes. We have the Iron Lordly Sight. Flexible sight, light with good recoil control and strong target acquisition. Iron Range Scope. Sharpshooter scope, long range with enhanced target acquisition, surprisingly light. Iron Red Dot. Agile sight for smooth engagement in close quarters. Then the Iron Vigor Sights. Standard sight, a lightweight design, good for recoil control. Then we have Iron Warrior Sight, Stable Sight optimized for excellent recoil control. Next up is Yolder's Joy, Remove Sprint Cooldown Penalty. That's obviously from the memory of Yolder, and I used that when I went to Bungie last week, and that's one of my favorite artifacts for BVP. We have Last Hope, Increased Agility after becoming the last Guardian Standing. Then we have the Modernized Scope, Modern Scope grants additional zoom and target acquisition. Move to Survive, Temporarily Increased to Recovery on Blink. Interesting. Negative Rounds. And once again, it says this weapon fires faster, more accurately, just like it did for the incendiary and chasm rounds. So what do you think negative rounds are going to do? Then we have Perun's Prowl, and that's obviously from the memory of Perun. Enemy guardians are full with, soup, with full supers, and all enemies with low health are highlighted. I didn't find that useful at all when I used it back in July when I went to Bungie, and last week when I went to Bungie. Next up, we have Quick Reaction. So gain increased agility while the reactive reload perk 
Network is active. You guys know me, I'm not a fan of Reactive Reload. I like crowd control, okay? Next up, we got Radagast Fiality. So gain the ability to reflect energy-based projectiles when guarding with the sword. Increase sword ammo capacity. Check out Planet Destiny and Data. When we went to Bungie last week, I believe they were trying to do some tests in PvE with regards to that actual artifact. That's Radagast art, well, memory of Radagast. Next up, we have Rapid Cooldown. Tighter turn radius while sprinting, increased grenade and melee regeneration while sprinting. That sounds like a perk on a piece of armor. We have Running Interference. Grants increased armor while the Battle Runner perk is active. Now, I am a fan of Battle Runner just for the fact that I use Telesto the Molesto so much. That's one of my favorite weapons in the game. Then we have the uh, Scavenger's Boon, so increased heavy ammo drops from fallen enemies. We have Sign of Four, landing three bursts on a target causes the fourth burst to do extra damage. Then we have similar uh, Silamars. I always want to say Silamars. Silamars Joust, and that's the artifact memory of Silamar. In the Crucible, resistance to damage over time attacks is greatly increased, so that'll be your anti-thorn artifact. Then for the memory of Scory, when your super is full, nearby alley supers recharge faster. Next up we have Speed Demon. Increase sprint speed, increase movement speed while aiming your weapon and tighter turn radius while sprinting. That sounds like an armor perk right there. Strange Angles. Gain faster movement speed while crouching. Picking up ammo automatically reloads the weapon matching that ammo type. Oh, I like that perk. That sounds like fun. The next one has the Nadir logo in it and says Strange Gravity. When holding down the trigger, range and accuracy increases as rate of fire decreases. Kills grant bonus grenade energy. I got a feeling that's from the Nemesis Star. That's the new exotic heavy weapon. Then we have the Corruption Spreads. It has a little SIVA logo there. Uh, enemies that take repeated hits from this weapon spawn SIVA Nanites that attack other enemies. Fallen take extra damage. That's got to be on some sort of exotic. Then we have the Golden Age. Everything you see is in Sepia Tone. That's one of the lens artifacts. Check out my Fell Winter Peak video. Uh, Timur's Demons. Melee attacks on minor minions of the darkness have a chance to temporarily turn against its allies. Uh, I saw that. Well, actually, I used that for all of my Wretched Eye Strikes. And I even used it in my um, The Devil's Lair Revamped, which is Sepix Perfected. Then we have Triple Double. When Triple Tap perk is triggered, an extra bullet is transferred from your reserves to the magazine. Two for one doubles the effectiveness of the Army of One perk. Unrepentant, reloading after kill causes the next burst to be a longer, more powerful super burst. That's from the Trespasser. Then we have Viper Totemic. No, Totemic, sorry. Improved energy drain and weapons ready and reload very, very quickly. Then we have Virulence. Precision kills release a Siva Nanite Swarm that attacks other enemies. That's got to be an exotic perk. Then we have Wait For It. And no, I don't mean wait for it. That's the name of the perk. Wait for it. Reloading this weapon when the mag is empty grants a larger than normal magazine. We have Whirlwind's Curse. This weapon does bonus damage against Fallen. Bonus agility when this weapon is equipped. I'm going to say that's a legendary perk. Then we have World Turned Upside Down. Everything you see is inverted along the X axis. So I'm going to assume that's one of the new lens artifacts. Again, check out my Fell Winter Peak Tour video. Then we have New Tricks. Improves Skip Grenade and you gain an additional Skip Grenade charge. That's got to be one of the new exotics. I'm pretty sure we've seen a long... I don't recall the name of it, but I'm pretty sure there's a Warlock set of gloves that's going to give you that. Then we have One Two Punch. Unlocks the Striker subclass node Amplify for free. You gain an additional melee charge. That's got to be another set of exotics for the Titan, I'm assuming. So that's pretty much it, guys. At the end of the video, uh, I threw in some Archon's uh, Forge footage, just the Tier 1. Uh, thanks to Activision for flying me out. And for someone who he unsubbed for saying, why do you say that in every video, unsub? I went out there. I have to. That's part of the NDA. I have to let people know Activision flew me out to Bungie Studios to record this stuff. So this is the Archon's Forge 320 Lite. But if you want the full guide on how Archon's Forge works, make sure you click the link in the description. So that's it for me, guys. What do you guys think of all of these new perks? That's it for me. Drop a like in this video only if you see fit. Follow me on the Twitter at Mason Sean. Check out my stream usually on YouTube. And that's it. I am out of here like Vladimir.